What is up, everybody? It's Ghost Robo. Welcome back to Horizon. I didn't forget about you, actually. Uh, kind of did. Not you, but the game. I kind of... I was so wrapped up in a whole bunch of stuff and, like, all the YouTube problems that people have been having and my channel kind of being down in the dumps and... And, uh, I, I, like, got so, like, sidetracked and lost out, and I was like, Crap, Horizon! And thankfully, a bunch of you tweeted at me, and I was like, Oh my god, I cannot believe I forgot about this. So here we are, we're back, we're gonna finish it. Don't worry, I'm gonna be pulling my channel, uh, back from the nether into a gorgeous, uh, a gorgeous new era of Ghost Trouble goodness. And that starts with finishing this off. Gosh darn it. We have to get this finished. One of the greatest games of the generation. We gotta get it finished. What were we doing quest-wide? Uh, we just talked to the people at the Hunter's Lodge, and there is a big onslaught that we need to go to Lone Light. Um, Silence has an, a location which is way over there. And then um, this one, Durval... Kidnapped and tortured Ursa, later died of her wounds, now he's on his way to Meridian. We gotta do that one. That's what we wanna do. We gotta warn the people of the palace and be like, yo, 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 this is not good. What is up with you? Do you have any wood? Because it's about to get burned, so hide it. And that's what we're gonna do. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for waiting. I know that, like, I've disappointed and lost most people in this series, but I'm still freaking committed as all heck to beating it. And uh, there was never a doubt in my mind that I would. I just... Kind of have lost my mind lately, honestly. This is really tough when I don't, I don't, I haven't really talked about this. It's really tough when uh, the YouTube thing, like all the problems, all the uh, you know, channels kind of are, are in dire states, some of them. And I wouldn't say mine's dire, I think it's definitely uh, at its lowest moment, but I have full faith that we can pull it out. And uh, I'm super pumped. I made a video a while back about like I made a big mistake, and I, I did, um, but that mistake was also severely enhanced by YouTube problems, so um, we are going to smash the YouTube problems like a moldy orange to the claim to let and know. beat this game, beat the YouTube problems, and get back on track. You need but ask. They'll be... I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name, I think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious. Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. Ooh. Uh, uh, ah. Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? Uh, did we tell him the truth? Let's ease his pain. She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. Find Durval and bring him back. Aaron wants to crush him. But we need to bring him alive at the request of the Sun King and at the request of humanity, I guess. The request of peace. 
So they will, you know, probably haggle over his body and do weird stuff like that. But if, if somehow this doesn't incite a, a greater war, I guess it's it's in the good of all involved. Level 29, rolling out the palace like a freaking whirling dervish. What is this? The Mad Sun King. Wow, wow, wow. A lot of blood, a lot of blood. That's a big old note. Um, since we are so far behind the eight ball with finishing this, I'm just going to uh, move on. And don't worry, I'm not going to like blaze to the end of the game. We'll still play it our way. Because I know those either are still watching or enjoying it because we are playing it that way. Um, I'm just not going to spend ten minutes reading that. So we got to go to this warehouse where they think they're loading all this blaze. That guy's looking for able-bodied adventurers. Um, okay. There's a warehouse. Oh, it's blocked off. This is the place. You home, Durba? Ooh, armor. <gasps> or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look uh -oh. too big. Big enough to kill us. All right, I'll shut up. Poison. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. That's enough to kill us, really? All right, let's search the warehouse and see what else is there. I like Aaron's armor. It looks like a freaking guy from uh, Lord of the Rings all of a sudden. Not right now. That's a lot of blaze. Oh, it is blaze. Why is it? If that bomb downstairs goes off. It'll be just what Durval promised. Why does it look like it's leaking poison? So dark in the sun. As the city goes up in flames. There's there's gotta be a way to stop it. This is enough blaze to set the whole city on fire? You kidding me? It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force, I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. What? Uh. Whoa. I guess pushing it off was better than that. Getting set off? We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is over. Durval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. Aaron has become really likable, I think, overall, don't you? Avad is as well. Man, I feel like these people be screaming, not just standing here looking, but you'd think he would have brought more blaze. I can't imagine that little pallet full of blaze was going to really erupt the entire city, you know what I mean? Was it? Am I the only one that thinks that seems a little odd? Like that 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 little like four barrel pallet? With just a bit of blaze in them. You know what I mean? Was it was it really gonna mess it up? The whole city? All of Meridian? I mean that was a cute explosion, but it wasn't like super insane. I don't know. We'll take their word for it. They know Blaze way better than me. Follow these trails and see if the uh the small little scent of blaze might lead us to Derval or at least to this. Another one of Durval's hideouts? Huh. Alright, down the stairs we go. This must be Ooh. where Durval assembled the detonator. He tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. Uh oh, he's underneath the palace. Crap, 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 we gotta hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> there they are.
he's quite rugged, huh? As they zip line into the Sun King's domain. All right. We're gonna have to hurry over there. Hopefully, Aaron gets back in time. Oh, I guess we gotta go down to go up. Go, 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 wait, Lloyd. Go, go, go. Exit the Meridian. We'll re enter it soon. Maybe that was all the distraction to lure us away from the palace, and then he was gonna use the moment to uh, enter the palace. I think that kind of might have been his plan. Sure seems like it, at least, right? Well, we'll follow his course and enter the palace. From the under tunnels. Oh no, ammo! Great. Whoa, bad shots, boys. Ooh, ooh. Wow, that didn't kill him. That should. All right, we got double trouble on the health meter, so we should be okay. And I got some more herbs. Feeling all sorts of swell with 490 health. And we're going to hit 500 health soon, which is going to be incredible. Yeah, we got triple now on the health bar. Alright, up, up, and away. I like that we get to run through the, the undersides of the palace. I bet there's going to be a big battle there, although it looked like he had a, only a few men, unless now the rest of his men are going to assault from the front, maybe? No clue how this is going to work. Go to the solarium is what the quest is telling us to do. Uh-oh. Look at you, Avon. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. Didn't I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belch from a charcoal burner. Okay. Destroy the sonic device. First, let's get some supplies. Nope. Destroy it. Okay. There we go. Alright. Avad. Oh, I have to defeat Durval and his men. Okay. Well, then in that case, let's get the fire arrows cooking. Get all this other stuff as well. Get those hard points ready for action. And let's go to battle, baby. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well... Bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Uh oh. Ooh. It's a sweet looking gun. Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it, Duval? Oh, that one pierced right through his. Whoa. It's like a sonic boom gun. Okay, let's do this. Can we finish this? Goodness great. Oh, what the heck? Kill. Oh wow. Okay, that's a painful blast. Sonic boom. Sonic boom. Always have his ladies do the fighting. Just hit him with all the elements. I've led an army. Killed kestrels and rats. Wow. Goodness gracious sakes alive. This is tricky because like it's it's such close quarters combat. Ooh, almost hit him. Looks like I took out his hand. You're starting to irritate. Why does a bard always have his ladies? Do Come here, buddy. Fight? Critical hit you for the kill. <laughs> Any good Osaran Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan.
Oh god. Um. Okay. Glint Hawks are coming to Meridian. Oh, not good. Oh, I have no ammo. Great. I need you to come down. If I can shoot off their like little sack, then we're in good shape. Good, 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 good. This guy is coming down. Oh, please let me get to him for a critical. Yes. Good. That's a lot of good damage. And we should be able to actually kill him there. Good. Finish him off. Um, let's see if we can get a, uh, a shock arrow barrage up in this cool. Whoa! Holy crap, Arella. It's a lot of icy squeeze. There we go. I don't think they're gonna like being shocked like that. I'm not part of their. Um, can we actually can we get a freeze on him? Dang. There we go. Okay. Start the freeze. Hit that sack of freeze goo. Uh. Woo! Oh, wow. Okay. Good thing for that extra health. They knew we were going to need it. There we go. Expose the freeze sack. He's going down to the ground. And we're going to get a crit for the kill. Bingo! Beautiful. Oh, thank you for my dinner. Uh-oh, more? Great, great. What the heck? Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, that... I would have thought they would have frozen him, but I guess his sack is still there. Come on, I gotta get it. There we go. No, no, whoa, no. Freak of nature. Crap, crap, crap. I got the health potions on the tab if I need them. Where is he? I hope you like fighting these things. No, I don't. More in the way. Really? There we go. Alright, that one's going down. Good. Bad shot, sorry. Two left. Three left, really now? I wish I could just knock it into oblivion. Like, if I knock it down, like, right here, when it's off the edge, and would it just, like, fall and die? Got it. Okay, yeah, it should just be gone. No, it's gonna... I don't know what's gonna happen. Wow. Okay. One more. Got it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, we should be in good shape now. Well, as good a shape as we can be. There we go. All right, now, um, no, free, no, free zeros. Freaking! I wanted it. I'm like on top of it. Ah! Wow, okay. Thought maybe I could just freeze this one. Mm, it's not gonna work, not enough freeze. Let's go back to what we do know works. Oh, this guy is gonna freeze. Woo! This is one of the most intense battles we've faced. This many Glinthawks is tricky. Probably should not be firing that, huh? Okay, let's just kill this guy. While we have the chance. One more arrow. Uh. Yeah, he's done. Okay, cool. How do they deal with fire? I'm guessing they... Ooh, wow. Okay. 
Fire might not be a bad idea on this guy. Yeah, and then I, if I had my rope caster, I could rope this guy down. Which would probably be a great way, which I don't have. I could equip it, I guess, from the... Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to. Next time I will, but for now it doesn't make a lot of sense. We'll just finish the fight. As is. I hope you like fighting these things. Because there's more in the way. No, there can't be more. This is plenty enough. Wow, okay, that was dang that was nasty. Stunned, and we'll finish it off right like oh. Yeah, there we go. Whew. Alright, Derval, you dummy. What are you trying to do with all your bird brain friends? I think I need to use more of the rope caster, because it's a good way to lock these guys down and not just burn through so many arrows. I mean, we have the resources to make it happen, but... In the future, we'll pull out the rest of our weaponry. Hang on, Derval. Full already. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Erend, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Well, there we go. Derval is optional. Errand and Avad need talking to as well. Let's go talk to Derval first. Well, actually. Wait, did we only talk to one of them or all of them? I'm a little confused. Okay. This is going to be Avad. Aloy. To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. Ma. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. After I solve the freaking world problems and figure out what the... Project Horizon Zero Dawn was. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Hmm... Fighting words like you used, Ersa. I'm not a substitute. I need to go my own way. Yeah. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman. Just as Ersa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us. Not a goodbye. Aww. What a real emotional guy. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the sunring here in Meridian. 
As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Oseron devices surpass even his imaginings. Well. No waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines, weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group, corrupted machines across the land. When will the attack come, do you know? I'm not sure yet. And we will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn more. All right, sounds good, my boy. Thanks for the tips and the cookies. He definitely was like kind of like in love with Aloy, but you know, is what it is. Where is my optional Derval combo? I guess he's over this way. I kind of want to hit it before Aaron in case the Aaron talk ends the quest. You know what I mean? I just want to see what's up with Derval. See what he has to say. Maybe we can like. Convince him to be a helpful handcuffed guy. Like if we put him behind some tiny bars, he'll help the city. I don't know. They say he's like super smart and would be a great unifying, uh, you know, a, a great help in sort of this new age of calamity. So it sucks to just throw him away. But it is what it is, I guess. Javal! Okay. I get it. You want to well, rude. So the optional talking was for him to say that. What a punk. We ran all the way out here to see you. And you are King Jerkus. Alright, well, anyhow. Let's go find Aaron and wrap this up. I guess I went the wrong way. Hopefully this can push us over the edge. I don't know if it's going to get us all the way to 30. But hopefully it'll get us close. No. Then as we work our way towards Robotics HQ and uh, Lance Reddick, we should have a whole lot of XP, a whole lot of abilities, and a whole lot of confidence to conquer this world. This magical world. I wonder when the DLC is going to hit. I wonder where it's going to be. I'm guessing fall. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. So, after all this, what's next for Erend Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, <laughs> more drinking. Interesting. So I think that's gonna wrap up Aaron's like line in the game. Well, his role is over. I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. 
And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Aww. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Whoa. Two. Huh. And she likes me. Huh. That's a fun guy. I, I like the his uh I like his quest. I like that whole track. I feel bad for him. Uh, but I like the fact that he now has he doesn't have a sister, but he does have a sense of, of finality, a sense of completion. And hopefully he can move on A-OK. -okay. We're going to move on as well. we got some quests going on up in here. Um, there is To Curse the Darkness, that one. Uh, we also have the Lone Light to meet Talana there. Weapons of the Lodge, Honor, the Fallen, the Ancient Armory. Still hunting those power cells. Um, if we activate this one, you can see it's over here. And it's in Lone Light. And so we're going to fast travel... Uh, right here and pick up from that point next time. Thank you guys and girls so much for sticking with it. Sorry again for forgetting and, and being goofy. Um, but we'll wrap this up. Don't worry. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. We got Prey and Injustice 2. So we'll get this done and uh, then get rolling on those two and keep the good times coming. Until then, everybody, thanks so much for watching the today. I love you all. Drink some hot chocolate. And until next time, we'll see you all later.